All right, so I thought I'd start at the beginning. Um, for those of y'all don't know me, my name is Daniel Graham and I'm a professor at Georgetown College in Georgetown, Kentucky, but I'm an artist and an instrument maker. And um, I wanted to start just talking about banjos. Uh, a number of you guys that have followed this channel and uh, looked through here have seen some of the builds over the time, but I thought what I'd do is walk through some of my favorite builds that I made for myself or for others that I still have available or access to and kind of show you some backstory and details into some of these builds. And um, so yeah, this is the first episode of uh, however many I feel like doing. So I'm gonna just, uh, like I said, go through a bunch of them here and uh, they'll be a little short ones, but this is the first build um, that I ever made. This was my first banjo. It is a canjo, as people call it, uh, can banjo, um, but not a regular one. So first, I made this fretless uh, based on what I knew and then realized that I didn't know how to play. I know that sounds silly, but uh, I made a banjo so I could learn to play the banjo and not knowing anything about banjo playing, I didn't think about knowing where my fingers were at first. And so I actually retroactively put frets into this uh, fretless banjo. Um, so they're not perfectly straight, but it was just for me. Uh, after that, of course, I figured out when to put frets in and all of that as I learned to build. So this is a handful of years ago. Um, but I was really proud of this can. And so you can see more pictures on the website. I'll put links below. Uh, but I took a paint thinner can and stripped all the paint off of it and then repainted it with these mug shots from Australia in the 20s. And so I have a gentleman on the front, his full length portrait on the side, a lady on the back, and her full length portrait on the side. Um, criminals used to be classier, so take a look at this. All right. So I thought it'd be something nice to have an image on the can. There you go. Check out that awesome tie she's got. Anyhow, um, it sounds better with the lid off, which I'll take off in a second. It's got a cherry neck and a Coco Bolo uh, headstock and fingerboard. It's got a Bloodwood tuning peg right here because I had four of these that someone gave me. Um, and I didn't have a fifth peg one, but originally when it was fretless, I had all Bloodwood uh, tuning pegs, the hand uh, kind of hand carved style. Uh, the bridge is holly and cocobolo on top, and the nut is holly as well. The tailpiece is actually one of my favorite little details here. Let's see if I can set this here. Um, and so it's a milled brass tailpiece that I made, and I didn't have a mill at the time, so I just made this all with a file. Let me show you this. There you go. Um, and so I actually tapped in these little pins to hold the strings and it rides on the edge of the can so it can slide one way or the other. And so I knew that I, I since I didn't know what I was doing, I knew enough to know that I didn't know anything, I made this to where it was adjustable side to side. So as I put the post all the way through the can, I could adjust where the tailpiece was side to side. And that came in real handy. Now, a lot of canjos that I see have the handle on the bottom or they cut it off or whatever else, but this is great because you have a handle to carry with and it stands upright, right? So I can stand it here next to me and it, I don't need to stand for any reason. But it was a fun build to make. I learned a ton um, about what I liked and what I didn't like, what I knew and what I didn't know. And um, yeah, so that's the mugshot canjo. All right, so let's hear a little sound sample of it. We'll take the cap off, because that's the uh, you know proper thing to do. And uh, here's what it sounds like. Yeah, um, it's a little slow playing uh, because you have to keep it away from your body to resonate the most. If I hold it up tight, 
um, so that I don't need a strap. It kind of mutes it a little bit for me. Anyways, fun little one, and um, we'll see you on the next one. We'll uh, look at, let me think what it is. I'm trying to play this in order. So yeah, I'll, uh, I have a mountain banjo next. Uh, Appalachian style mountain banjo. We'll, we'll uh, see that one coming up soon.